Your pet's health matters, and we humans aren't the only ones with orthopedic problems. It turns out that our four-legged family members can develop bone issues as well. Dr. David Dykus is medical director and co-founder of Nexus Veterinary Specialists and chief, or chief of orthopedics for Nexus Veterinary Bone and Joint Center. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be here. I'm happy to have you here. This title is as big as the facility, it seems. Tell us a little bit more about your practice, which is Nexus Veterinary Specialist and Nexus Veterinary Bone and Joint Center. Absolutely. So we are a new multi-specialty veterinary hospital located in the Brewers Hill area of Canton in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. And so the best way to think about a multi-specialty hospital is very similar to humans. So we have our primary care doctors, which sometimes will send us on to a specialist for various conditions. Right. And in veterinary medicine, we have the exact same thing. So we function on the specialty level and work directly with pet parents, as well as the referring primary care veterinarians that handle most things. But when they need a little additional help or something on a specialized level, that's where we come into play. Got it. And you have achieved world recognition as an or a veterinary orthopedic surgeon. Tell us just a little bit more about your career and this next step. Sure. So ultimately, I've been working as a veterinary orthopedic surgeon. So the only thing I handle are bone and joint issues in dogs and cats. And uh, because of that, and, and that small little niche of, of things, it's allowed me to uh, expand on, on my knowledge base, which in turn has allowed me to present the things that I've learned, things that I've developed, things that I've researched on to veterinarians around the world. And, and one of my big, big passions is a common problem in dogs and cats, and that's on osteoarthritis or arthritis. Mm -hmm. And so I've been able to travel all around lecturing on that. So tell us a little bit more too about the services that are provided at Nexus Veterinary Bone and Joint Center and what sets your practice apart from other specialists, I mean, of course your career, but also just the practice in general. Sure, so I uh, try to do everything I can in as minimally evasive way as possible. That means with surgery, smaller incisions, less pain, quicker recovery. Yes. Um, I also believe in, in taking a very patient specific approach. So I like to evaluate every one of my patients individually and design a treatment plan tailored to them. And I really, really strive on client communication and client education so that way everyone can be informed because I do believe that's the best way for pets to get the best care is yes. when their owners are informed as well as the primary care veterinarians. Of course and by that time you know the dog or the cat has been through so many issues if they're getting to you as a specialist we want to make sure that we're doing all the right things to make sure that our loved ones, our furry friends are taken care of. For viewers who think that they might need your services, what is a common joint problem in dogs that pet owners can, can help with now on the front end? Sure, so probably the most common cause of chronic pain in dogs is osteoarthritis or OA. And we tend to think about that as kind of an old dog disease, but in the dog, osteoarthritis is an any age dog disease. It can start out when they're very, very young. So typically for pet owners, the best thing to do for their animal, keep them as fit and trim as possible. Yep. So not letting them get overweight, keeping them as active as possible through daily activity, as well as daily exercise. And that's essentially taking them out on daily walks every day. Yes, and, and that's one, good for us as well. <laughs> you got it, you got it. So tell us as we're wrapping up, what is a website that we should go to to make an appointment or just find out more? Absolutely, so the website is nexusvet.com. Okay, all right, Dr. Dykus, thank you so much for being with us, we appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this, stay tuned.